people when I last spoke to you, but um, it is Saturday. It's about half nine. Um, my taxi's due to come at 10. I don't think I slept that well, but I definitely got some, so that's the main thing. Last night, I got in absolutely exhausted. My friend Poppy, who's in one of the nearby hotels, came over and she had dinner in here with me and we watched some telly and just caught up and unwinded, um, which was nice. Um, and then, yeah, I've done a bit of prep because I've got Simple Creatures interview today. So that's Mark Copperson, Alex Gasgarth, which is, is good. And, um, you know, they're not doing much press, so it's really nice that I'm getting a few minutes with them to have a natter. What else have I got to share? I don't know. At the moment, it's dry, but I might have just cursed us by saying that. Um, I'm trying to get my head together. What do I need? Oh, yeah, I haven't spoken to you since the Def Leppard interview. So I spoke to Phil and Vivian. We went to their dressing room area. I really wish I could vlog that part so you could see behind the scenes, but I don't think that's allowed because obviously that's meant to be where they can relax and um, feel safe and not have vloggers coming around with cameras. Um, but um, yeah, their, all their dressing room areas are really cool. They had one that was dedicated to just quiet time. Um, one of them was filled with amazing plants and things. And the place we did the interview, they had like lovely, beautiful, sheer, but colorful fabric draped on the walls. Um, a couple sofas. I noticed they had some of my favorite um, vegan foods um, in a fridge as well. Um, and Phil and Vivian were really nice, down to earth guys, really um, chilled, um, easygoing. Um, didn't make it difficult for me, which is really nice. Um, and we ended up talking very briefly about curry. So, on brand for me, <laughs> you know me, big curry fan. So, that was nice. A uh, nice way to end the day, really. It was overall actually fairly stressful day because it just ended up that all the interviews happened like back to back in a short but very hectic um, space of time so I didn't have time to refer to notes I at times didn't know what bands were coming and I also had like managers and TMs calling me while I was doing interviews going where are you can't find you we're next um, uh, so like having to do that on top of interviews brain was exploding but we got there we got it done and I think once the editors do their magic they will come out fine so I won't worry too much about that so yeah today should be fine I, I would I really hope I get to see some music yesterday I didn't see any live music apart from I think I caught a little bit of Def Leppard as I was walking through sight. So that's it. <laughs> so um, hopefully I'll actually get to see some bands today. I really want to see Slipknot, obviously, but um, we shall have to see on that. Luckily, I've seen them a few times, so I can live with it, but um, I would like to catch them. You're right, we've just been dropped off at the um, taxi rank place. Me, we, me, Matt and Jamie uh, heading on to site now. Are you feeling yeah, pumped for your day, Jamie? I am really, really, really pumped. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> They're actually going to come and see me today in the press tent. We're going to talk about Nitro Circus and then being badass biker guys. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be nice. Uh, but we've got the big trek to site first, which will tire me out no end, but it'll be worth it. So I'm on site. I've got a production pass so I go kind of like behind the scenes it's not that interesting but I'll just show you so I'm just walking down here which will lead to the Sifo stage and then I'll be on the main site um, and then I'll head to press and just get my head in gear a little bit and as I said it's quite a quiet day today so I think I'm gonna meet those guys later to talk all things bikes and then and then it's is it skindred and simple creatures and then i think that's all i have on the agenda um locked in but if it's anything like it was yesterday i'll have a few more bands just <laughs> turning up unannounced that i will end up chatting to and try to make some sort of cohesive sense in my interview with but we'll see God, my arms are hurting. Sorry, that was an unpleasant close-up for you. So in the morning or overnight, I'm not sure quite when it happens, they um, put all this hay down just to try and soak up some of the, the moisture that is gathered from the rainy weather. And it just makes it so much easier to walk. So 
they died, always try and do what they can to make it better for us, but it's they're dealing with quite a difficult situation this year. for Nitro Circus, is Matt Charlin. Hi. Hi. Um, he's just uh, equipping his feet with some protection Amazing. as we approach the main arena. It's still a quagmire. I love that word. What are you doing? Show my, show my shoes. All oh, right. Um, and we're going to get some lunch in. We haven't had breakfast today, have we? I've had nothing. I'm so hungry. He's had nothing. It's enough. I'm so hungry. And he's a bloody MC. I oh, know. Not drum and bass. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could be though if you wanted to be. Yeah, well, I could be. Yeah, I could be. I could be whatever I wanted to be. Look at this guy. Look at him. He looks like a sexy pirate. He's in metal beetle juice. Oh, that's what it is. Knee pads. <laughs> You're just going to point at me. Yeah, like, all the way. That's what I've been doing the whole time. You've been on my own walking around. <laughs> like, look at you. <laughs> That's the great thing about that, the people watching, it's the best, isn't it? It's so good. I'm enjoying every moment of that. It's just amazing. It makes me feel really not metal, though. <laughs> Does it make you feel not metal? Yeah, oh, I'm not metal. No, you're but not. I don't look metal, do I? Metal at the core, though. Metal at the core. <laughs> so I'm back in my little spot. I've managed to get myself some lunch today. I've gone for a Happy Mackey, which is vegan sushi, and it is so good. I think I only have it once a year at download and I just look forward to it so much. This one's the fully loaded without wasabi and it is just amazing. Was that a little bit formal? 
you tend to overthink these things in these situations. Anyway, so yeah, done for today. I'm gonna watch a bit of Slipknot and then I'm gonna head home um, to sleep. Um, I'm very excited about it. It's quarter to 11. I'm back in my hotel room. I'm currently debating whether to shower and dry my hair tonight and go to sleep or to prep for the three interviews I've got tomorrow now and then I don't have to do it in the morning or to just have a good night's sleep and do it in the morning. Oh, I don't know. I'm so tired. My brain has definitely stopped working now. It's just stopped functioning. I think the press room is so intense. Um, because I've got this pod that's obviously got um, a bed in it and seats. Um, everyone keeps coming round to it and wanting to sit in it, which I, like, before I have an interview, um, I really like to collect my thoughts and, like, go over my notes and stuff, and it's been um, been a little bit tricky to do that, to be honest. Um, and it's just it's because there's so many journalists and so much press going on, and it's obviously quite near the stage. It's quite noisy as well, so it's quite hard to... Um, center yourself and then like when I was interviewing Alex Hop Alex Hoppus <laughs> Alex Gasgarth and Mark Hoppus um I there was a big crash and I was like oh my god what's happened like that and so that like if you if you've got a flow or you're trying to remember which questions that you're going to do that kind of just kind of broke me out of that and I think that's why I got a bit derailed in that interview and um had a bit of a like a mini <laughs> momentary meltdown <laughs> um but um yeah i can't remember what i've told you so after my last interview which was at skindred and i've i've interviewed skindred a number of times and no aria, aria, aria? That, why does that sound wrong anyway i know aria 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 <laughs> I know, I know, I've known them for a little while. We've got a lot of mutual friends and things like that. So it was quite nice, and they were willing to do a, a bit of a fun interview. So we did kind of like a pictionary thing, which was nice. So after that, um, I met up with a friend who's doing the nitrous circus stuff, and um, we went and got some catering. Had a really nice um, cauliflower. I hate cauliflower, but it was a cauliflower dal, and I love Indian food. Like Indian food is my jam. So that was nice. And then watched some Slipknot. And then we met our taxi guy who's been... He's picked us up and dropped us off every time. He's like our guy now. He met us and then got back here. And took about 15 minutes in reception trying to get my boots off. I was so tired I couldn't get them off. You know, boots are like to get off your feet. I don't want you to be in pain. But I wish you could, through the screen, know how painful my legs and feet are. Doing festivals at all is quite challenging for my body these days um, and always has been probably. Um, but because I've got kind of the mental um, challenge of interviews and um, the stress and pressure that goes with that on top of just the fatigue of just doing a festival in mud, which is exhausting to walk through, I am I'm really, I'm quite struggling today, to be honest. But... It's just one more day, I can do it. And then this Monday I will just pamper myself silly and have a the longest bath of all time and have an early night and it will be so so good. <laughs>